I had taken my health for granted. I, I thought that I was impervious to injuries because I'd been healthy for so long. I had stopped taking care of my body. I would stopped doing the, the injury prevention tactics. Dealing with injuries is, is a nightmare. You end up actually training harder when you're injured than when you're not injured. I feel that now I'm able to handle injuries much better, not only because I know how to treat them better, but I know how to get through them mentally better. Obviously you have to have the genes to be able to run you know, world-class times, but without mental tenacity and, and perseverance, you're never going to get through the training. They say that distance running is a, is a combination of physical talent and mental endurance. And senior year I decided I wanted to see how fast I could get and I moved to central Mexico and lived at 9,000 feet for 10 weeks. I went up ranked number 50 in the United States at 800 meters and came down ranked number two. There is a huge honor that comes with representing your country and I certainly felt it in 2008 and 2012 and I know when I stand on that starting line at the 2016 Olympic Games looking down and seeing the stars and stripes will give me a huge sense of, of purpose and pride. At this level, every single mile, every day of training ultimately counts towards that tenth of a second that means the difference between winning a medal and not winning a medal.